Good morning. Uh, today on Al Watan Al Arabi Amwal Mag, we welcome His Excellency Fernando Igreja, Brazil's ambassador to the UAE. Uh, ambassador, uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, today. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, Ambassador, you took your post in the UAE in 2017. And in 2019, uh, President Bolsonaro made a historic visit to the UAE, which was, I believe, the second of a Brazilian president uh, to the UAE. How much has this helped strengthen the relationships and especially uh, after facing in quite the, uh, after that in 20, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic? Okay, so uh, effectively, I, I took office here in 2017. It was a, a, a very good moment for our relationship. We had uh, just changed ambassadors, both in Brasilia and here in Abu Dhabi. And we have worked a lot to, um, to finalize some agreements that were uh, on the table, uh, especially uh, the agreements on, on um, uh, visas, um, for uh, permitting that both citizens can go from one country to the other without visas. Uh, we also signed in 2018 an agreement on uh, to eliminate the double taxation and also, uh, sorry, we signed it in 2019. We negotiated 1918, but we signed it in 2019. And also another agreement to protect investments, uh, cooperation about investments in both countries. There were uh, also a, a couple of agreements on, uh, on cooperation on justice, civil law uh, specifically, and, and the penal law also. So uh, this took us to another level in our relationship. In 2000 to 2019, uh, we were in another level of our relationship, which allowed us to have this so successful visit of the president in, in October 2019. And during the visit, we signed uh, another very important uh, document, which was a memorandum of understanding to establish uh, a strategic partnership between Brazil and the UAE. So with those uh, elements on, on the table and all the, all the progress that we have done in these, uh, our bilateral relations, we began 2020 with a lot of, of plans and perspectives to, to, to make it concrete of this uh, strategic partnership. Then it came uh, COVID in all the crisis, the pandemic, especially in the first semester, which uh, was uh, really very hard to, to all the world, of course. And we had to reinvent a little this, uh, this relationship. I mean, uh, you know that diplomacy is something that we do uh, uh, with contact. It's people contact. People have to meet, people have to talk, people have to be uh, together in, in events. And then we had to we had to reinvent this, but um, fortunately, the our uh, strategic partnership was so I would say so well uh, fundamented, so well founded in very good relations that it allowed us to keep during the year of 2020 a lot of high level uh, contacts and to put ahead our cooperation. And, and of course, focused on uh, COVID and on the, the mutual uh, uh, challenges that both countries were facing. Um, so I think that uh, this was the main thing for 2020. This, uh, to, to, yeah. uh, we have also noticed a strengthening in uh, trade and economic partnership, mainly in sectors around sugar, poultry, uh, uh, beef. How do you see, uh, considering these new uh, factors that you just mentioned, uh, developing more of these relationships and what can Brazil offer to, let's say, UAE uh, investors, both sovereign and private? Okay, so uh, effectively, commercially uh, talking, we, ha we are, uh, we have uh, um, a trade about 2.5, 2. 2. In 2019, it was $2.8 billion, our uh, trade flow between Brazil and the UAE. Basically, Brazil exports the UAE uh, um, uh, uh, animal protein, I mean, not only uh, uh, meat, uh, but also uh, poultry uh, and other 
uh, products derivated from, from these products. So, uh, which means that uh, food security is a basis for our relationship. And this was one of the things that during the 2020 was in our agenda. Brazil uh, uh, has um, demonstrated or has stated to the UAE that uh, we, we like to be a, a partner to the UAE to assure food security uh, in, in the UAE, uh, considering our exportations to this country. So this is, uh, of course, a main issue in our, in our relationship, and it had been developed during this, this year. And uh, of course, that now we are facing new, new challenges, and we want not only to, to, to keep this position as, uh, as uh, one of the most important uh, um, uh, exporters to the UAE of sugar, as you mentioned, and all kind of uh, animal protein uh, uh, to this country. So um, uh, food security is really one of the main uh, items in our agenda. There was the political uh, consultation committees that, that, that is working uh, with today, uh, uh, the current situation. How has the, this been uh, developing? Yeah, well, we have been, as I mentioned, we have been too close to the UAE in, in this uh, during 2020. We had many uh, contacts with our, our authorities here and our authorities in, 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 in UAE, in Brazil and UAE. And uh, the main objective is, of course, to, uh, through those talks, through those contacts, establish uh, policies in both countries that could uh, help us to, to face the, the challenge of COVID. Food security, again, is one of the main uh, issues on this uh, collaboration between the two countries. But not only, we have a very good cooperation in international fora, uh, in uh, multilateral uh, organisms where we, our delegations are always in contact and exchanging points of view. Uh, Brazil has uh, celebrated the, um, the, the agreement signed by the UAE and Israel for instance, recognizing uh, Israel for Brazil, it was a very important uh, uh, decision from the UAE, and it goes uh, with our own uh, uh, foreign policy that is uh, uh, defending the, the Israel and the Palestine state, of course. So um, there is a, a political uh, a cooperation that uh, goes on, goes on in these talks between the two countries. We've seen also uh, another sector, which is the defense and security sector, and COVID-19 has really highlighted the risk, whether on supply chain, on security, and, and all these, these points. And so in terms of uh, defense and security, uh, I believe uh, Brazil uh, exports around close to $200 million to the, to the Middle East, uh, roughly 20% to, to the UAE. Do you see... Uh, opportunities for, for more cooperation on, on that level in the coming years? Yes, we have uh, a cooperation on defense agreement signed since 2014, and we have a very good cooperation in this area. This year, in 2020, we have opened our defense uh, attache office in Abu Dhabi. Uh, the UAE has a, a military attache in Brasilia since 2019. Uh, so uh, we we see a ve with very good perspectives uh, the the cooperation between our two countries in this uh, in this issue. Uh, as you might know, we have um, in Dubai Embraer, which is our aircraft uh, builder uh, company, has an office in Dubai, uh, and Embraer has many contacts in many sectors, not only defense but also in civil avi aviation. Um, we had uh, realized that uh, a month ago, uh, I think, yes, by the end of November, 24th of November, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Brazilian Defense Day for the UAE, which was a, a gathering by video conference between Brazilian companies on this area and Emirati companies on this area to discuss the opportunities to present themselves. And uh, we are sure that this is a, a very important uh, area of our cooperation. If we if we go back to because they're all linked, but to food security, 
uh, do you see uh, a, a an opportunity for the UAE also to invest in the uh, agro-food business, I would say, in the processing, in the uh, development, rather than just uh, importing uh, um, uh, cattle or whatever uh, in Brazil? And how, how would that work? How, how is that uh, possible? Of course, of course. I mean, it's very important for us um, exactly to, to attract those, those investments in our uh, uh, food chain uh, in, in Brazil and production. Um, well, Brazil have big areas where all those products are, are, are come from, but we have some, some uh, problems with the connections from the products, pro producing area for the, to the port. And then there is a, a large opportunities for investments in Brazil in infrastructure. Uh, we are in a process of uh, looking for cooperation uh, between collaboration, more than cooperation, between the public, uh, the state and private companies. So uh, we have also had during this year, I, I think three or four uh, road shows uh, presenting for foreign investors the possibilities of uh, investing in Brazil in infrastructure area. And I think that this is uh, something where the Emirati uh, companies are very welcome to, to invest and, and investing in infrastructure. Of course, they will be investing in our uh, food production chain and facilitating and guaranteeing the, the food security for the countries that uh, uh, are, uh, receive the production from Brazil. You know? so, there is a space, there is a lot of space, and I would say, uh, especially in infrastructure, and we have been doing this uh, work during this year here. We've also seen a, a, an interest from uh, Brazilian companies that showed a lot of commitment uh, to the UAE. Is it also focused on the uh, um, food sector as well, or and defense, or uh, are there other sectors that you think Brazilian companies is, would use the region and the UAE as a hub, maybe? No, we have, uh, of course, on food security, we have some companies working in food here. Uh, we have uh, defense, but we are, have also other uh, Brazilian companies. Yesterday, for instance, I had a meeting with the Brazilian businessman establishing the UAE. We, we had a meeting by video conference, a little to, to, to say what had happened in, the, in this year. And one of the main Brazilian companies established here is Tramontina. Tramontina is a, a very uh, a traditional uh, industry in Brazil. Uh, it is specialized in cutlery, but not only in all uh, uh, kind of, of products for, uh, for the house, for kitchen, for, for house furnishing. And they are very happy. They are here in the, in the UAE for many, many years. I think it was the first Brazilian company to come to the UAE. Uh, and then um, they had progressed a lot in 2015. And they feel that they have a lot of space, not only in the UAE, of course, but using the UAE as a hub for all the region, for the, the Middle East and uh, Africa, Central Asia. I mean, so, uh, and we have other companies, Brazilian companies, uh, trying to come and to establish themselves Many, of course, looking for the opportunities that will come with Expo Dubai uh, next year. So uh, um, there, there are, so to answer your question, there are other companies, Brazilian companies established here, and some who are doing very, very well. I, I remember also, also now uh, Marco Polo, which is a company that uh, builds buses and, and, and trucks. So it is also established in the UAE, in the region of Dubai. Uh, and uh, 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 not only in food security. Uh, yeah. And so I, I won't take much more of your time. There's, it's maybe on pause now. You mentioned the visa waiver, but how do you uh, expect to pick up uh, within 21 or 22 uh, the, uh, the tourism development between the two countries? Yeah, that's, that's something that we have to, to develop more. There's, there is one of our challenges. Um, uh, we are, yeah, myself and uh, the Mirati ambassador in Brasilia, we have been working together on, on this. Uh, um, is, yes, we have some Brazilian tourism coming to the UAE, uh, 
I would say a lot of tourists have come in here, but it needs to be more developed to, to, to show what they can do here, what are the opportunities there are in the UAE. And also to, to try to have the Emirates uh, doing tourism in Brazil. Uh, we have this connection before the pandemic, we have two flights, three flights per day of Emirates uh, connecting Dubai, Sao Paulo and Dubai, Rio de Janeiro. Now I think that we have five or four flights uh, per week. Uh, we, 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 uh, we hope that this will come more and more flights to be normalized the situation between. And then it's important to show that you can go, you can take a flight here early in the morning and you can sleep in Sao Paulo and then you can have all the day or all the week in Brazil. So uh, to show the opportunities for tourism in both countries is one of our main tasks for the next year. And of course, Expo will help a lot uh, attracting people to come here. Uh, Ambassador, thank you so much uh, for your time. We, we also hope that uh, coming next year, things will uh, smoothen and travel and these exchanges will, will increase. Thank you for giving us these insights on uh, the relations between uh, Brazil uh, and the UAE. Thank you. Thank you very much for this opportunity.